And as the manhunt for Robert Card continues, New Englanders from Maine to Rhode Island are calling the tragedy numbing. For a look at how people are handling the traumatic situation, 12 News reporter Matt Paddock joins us now live in studio with in-depth coverage. Matt. Shannon, just 20 miles from the restaurant and bowling alley where 18 people were killed lies Bowdoin College, home to roughly 1,800 undergrad students, including some from here in Rhode Island. I mean, what is okay? Yeah. <laughs> Physically, we're safe. I think emotionally, we're really in shock. Another mass shooting leaving the nation numb. And for those in the heart of it all, processing the pain is a battle of its own. No one's really surprised, per se. Um, obviously, the mass of it is incredibly jarring. The fact that we've heard reports of multiple people. I mean, there's been all, numbers all over the place as far as um, injuries and deaths, unfortunately. 18 people are dead, more than a dozen others injured. And those in Maine are hunkered down as the massive manhunt continues for 40-year-old suspect Robert Card. It's felt incredibly quiet, as I expect it has all over the state right now. Um, and I think everyone's just kind of waiting for some good news. Dr. Carrie Diaz Eaton, a Warwick native, was with students from Bates College on a plane to Portland, Oregon for a conference when they began to be flooded with messages. Some of us were, you know, sleeping and then kind of waking up to all these text messages and trying to sort through what's going on. For Liam Holy, a Wakefield, Rhode Island resident and senior at Bowdoin College, he knows the power, strength, and resiliency of a tight-knit community. There is definitely some good that can come from this. It shows, like I just mentioned, that this community has come together. Um, we're in good spirits, and this is, this is going to get resolved regardless of how dark or scary it may be right now. There's going to be some good that can come out of this. Bowdoin and Bates Colleges are still under a lockdown as the massive manhunt continues. Live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News. And 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with students and professors with local ties who right now are in the Lewiston area. And Matt joins us now live in studio with their stories and how they're navigating this devastating and traumatic situation. Matt. Mike Shannon, as Bates and Bowdoin Colleges remain in lockdown, those who call Maine their home say it's hard to fully process the emotions and magnitude of such a major loss of life. It's very quiet. It's very eerie. Liam Holy's a senior at Bowdoin College, growing up in Wakefield, Rhode Island, attending LaSalle Academy. You don't have a ton of time to really sit and think about it too much. It definitely kind of sneaks up on you. Maine state troopers and local law enforcement continue their search for 40-year-old Robert Card, suspected of killing 18 and injuring many more. No one's really surprised, per se. Um, obviously, the mass of it is incredibly jarring. The fact that we've heard reports of multiple people. I mean, there's been all, numbers all over the place as far as um, injuries and deaths, unfortunately. The emotion of it all? nearly numbing. So we're still kind of processing what's going on. Um, so it's it's definitely hitting really close to home, literally. Dr. Carrie Diaz Eaton, born and raised in Warwick, now a professor at Bates College. We were on the plane to Portland, Oregon when we heard the news. Describing the confusion and fear as she and her students headed to a conference cross country. And some of us were, you know, sleeping and then kind of waking up to all these text messages and trying to sort through what's going on. I mean, what is okay? Yeah. <laughs> Physically, we're safe. I think emotionally, we're really in shock. Both Holy and Diaz Eaton say Maine is a tight knit state and community. Knowing through this tremendous tragedy will come some form of hope. This is going to get resolved regardless of how dark or scary it may be right now. There's going to be some good that can come out of this. It's a terrible, terrible, tragic event, but I know as a community we'll get through it together. Bowdoin and Bates College remain locked down at this hour. Live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.